There's one particular category of videos on YouTube that are extremely popular and can make you as much as $1,000 or more per day. And that category is motivational videos. Things like this. You got a problem with your life. You got a problem with your environment. Do something about it. If you want it, go get it. And these videos, although it might seem like they require a lot of work, are actually very easy to make and can be extremely lucrative. And what's even better is that I found a way, or a secret, if you will, to getting more views on these videos. Now, if we go to Social Blade and type in Ben Lionel Scott, this guy's entire channel is dedicated to motivational videos and there are a lot of others like him. And if we scroll down to the estimated earnings section, we can see that Social Blade estimates he's making a little bit over $1,000 per day. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again but these estimates tend to be much much lower than what the channel is actually making and so this channel is likely making two three possibly four times more than these estimates claim and I know this from personal experience okay and so social blade claims that this channel is making as much as three hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars per year but I can assure you that it's actually a lot more and so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to make these videos as well as a secret to getting significantly more views so so for starters, what exactly are these motivational videos and how do you make them? Well, they're basically made up into three separate parts. You've got the music, the video, and the actual motivation. And we'll go through and talk about each part, where you can find it, and we'll actually build a motivational video from scratch along the way. And also, I just really quickly want to mention this, okay, I know there's a lot of speculation around if these types of videos can be successfully monetized. Because there are people out there saying that these types of videos, these motivational videos can't be monetized, but that's simply not true. True. These videos can absolutely be monetized if done correctly. How do I know that? Well, because there's actually a secret way to find out if a channel is monetized or not. For example, if I go to this motivational channel here, a lot of people will say this channel cannot be monetized because all the videos are using someone else's voice. Well, let's see. If I right click anywhere on the page and then select view page source, it's gonna bring me to the source code of this page. Now, I know this looks extremely confusing, but just hang with me here, okay? So if I search for the word monetization, you can see it brings me to this line of code right here that says, is monetization enabled? And the value of that is true. And so yes, this channel is monetized. Now, if the value was false, then it would mean that the channel is not monetized. And we can do this exact same thing for dozens of other motivational channels and what you'll find is that most of them are monetized and so yes you can definitely monetize these videos but just watch this video closely to figure out how to do it successfully okay so let's first start off talking about how to find the music for these videos now the music is arguably the most important part of these motivational videos because the music is what helps to drive the video and give it emotion and so it's gonna be critical that you find high quality audio that you can use without getting any copyright strikes and the website that I personally use Used to find music for my YouTube videos is Epidemic Sound. They give you access to over 30,000 professionally produced tracks and offer features like showing similar tracks or recommending songs based on your channel. And my favorite feature is the beats per minute metric, where they show you how fast paced a song is so that you can more easily narrow down and discover the types of tracks you're looking for. Epidemic is a must have for all serious content creators who, like me, want to combine both quality and efficiency into their work. And this year, I've teamed up with Epidemic Sound to bring you an exclusive discount on their music service. Get a 30 day free trial and an extra two months of 75% off by using my link down below in the description. The discount is valid for the personal plan and the offer will be available for five days only. So make sure not to miss out on this offer and the diverse music catalog of Epidemic Sound. Click the link down below in the description. Now, in my opinion, one of the best categories of music to use for motivational videos is the film category. And you can see there are a ton of different subcategories and subgenres underneath the film category. And all you would do is just choose the subcategory that makes the most sense for the purpose of the motivational video. And so for example, if we're going to make a video about not giving up on your dreams, then the music has to be somewhat dramatic and epic. And so I'll click right here on the drama category, and there are literally thousands of songs to choose from. Now, I'm not going to be too picky for this example. I already listened to a few of these songs, and I know that I like this one right here. And so I'm going to download that one, and you can obviously download and use as many songs as you want in your video. But for this example, I'm just going to use this 
one. And so now I'm gonna head over to my editing software, which I'm on a Mac. And so I'm using Final Cut Pro. Now Final Cut Pro does cost $2.99, but if you have a Mac, but you don't feel like paying money for Final Cut Pro, then you can easily use iMovie completely free. And that is more than enough to get the job done. If you're on a PC, then you can use free editing software like DaVinci Resolve, Filmora, and Hit Film Express. And so all I'm gonna do is drag and drop this song onto my timeline, and that's the first part, okay? And so you'll find all your music on Epidemic Sound. Use the link down below to get a free 30-day trial, as well as the next two months of your subscription, 75% off. This is a massive deal. Next up, let's talk about the motivational part of the video. So where can you actually go about finding the spoken word parts of these videos? The first thing that you can do is go to other motivational videos, like this one, for example, and in the descriptions of most of these videos, they'll typically put who the speakers are in the video. And so, for example, this video is using T.D. Jakes, um, Les Brown, and Eric Thomas. And so what you could do from here is just go into YouTube, type in, for example, Eric Thomas motivational speech, and what you'll see are a ton of different videos of Eric Thomas speeches. And then once you found a speech or a part of a speech that you like, you can simply go to a website like snapsave.io, paste the URL of the video that you want to save, and then click on download. And then from here, you'll receive a audio file of the speech, which you can then use in your video. Now, that's just one way of doing it, okay? The other way of doing it, and probably the safer option, is to use public domain audio from the internet archive. And so if I go to archive.org, and then click on audio, and then click on all audio, I'll be brought to this page here. Now, I could certainly search through all these different categories and try to find motivational speeches or audio books, but what I'll do instead is just search over here for motivational speech. And then I can just go through and start listening to some of the speeches to figure out what I like. And so for example, I've already listened to this speech here and there's one part in the speech in particular that I like. And so I'll simply download the file and then pull that file into my editing software and then find the part of the speech that I wanna use in my video, cut it out and then line it up with the music. And so now we're left with something like this. But not only is it important that you believe and begin to know that it's- Yeah, I see, I think that sounds amazing. And with the music, it really does make it feel like a motivational video, which it is, because that's what we're making. And so basically, depending on how long you wanted the video to be, you would either find different parts within the same speech to put into your video, or you would go and find different parts of different speeches to then include in your video, in addition to what you've already downloaded. The trick here, though, is to use public domain audio that's copyright free. Now, you can certainly still use copyright audio. I mean, these other motivational channels do it all the time, you just have to make sure that the video is made in such a way that it's unique from the original work so that the video falls under fair use. And the final part of the motivational video is the actual footage. Now, there's actually a ton of free stock footage resources out there, and what I'm going to do is I'll link them down in the description below. But for this example right here, I want to bring your attention to this website here, Pexels.com. If you go to Pexels and then click on videos, you'll gain access to thousands upon thousands of 100% free stock footage. And so let's say for example, I type in working out and you can see here that there are endless videos of people working out. And honestly, you really shouldn't have to overthink what you're downloading here. Okay. As long as the footage is somewhat relevant to the spoken word that's being said, then you're golden. And so I'm just going to start downloading a few of these videos. And again, okay. Pexels is just one resource, but I'll link the others down below. You can also feel free to use movie scenes in some of your videos. Generally speaking, because the movie clips are being used inside of your video and you're not just downright re-uploading the clips without adding any value you, then you should be fine. But anyways, I'm going to bring these downloaded videos into my editing software, and I'm just going to start placing them on top of the music and the motivational speaker. And again, you shouldn't have to think about this too hard, okay? As long as the footage is somewhat relevant to what's being said, then you should be fine, okay? And so now we've got our music, we've got the motivational part, and then we've got the video. And the only thing really left to do at this point, and this isn't even a requirement, but I do think it'll help with your videos to make them more interesting, is to place text on top of the video and have it match what the speaker is saying, like this. But not only is it important that you believe and begin to know that it's possible for you to live your dream as you run toward it. And so, like I said, that's not a requirement. You don't have to do that, but it's clearly helping some of these other videos. And so it may be worth spending an extra 20 to 30 minutes adding the text in your videos. And so basically, after about 10, 15 minutes worth of work, we're left with this motivational video right here. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life. People who don't want anything, people who are not striving, people who are not challenging themselves, people who aren't growing, people who have stopped dreaming. 
Now, all that sounds great. I mean, that sounds really good, okay? But the problem though is, what if your videos can't get any views? Because the problem that I noticed with a lot of these motivational videos is that they can't get a lot of views and there's a reason for that. And so what I'm gonna do now is reveal a secret to you to getting significantly more views on your motivational videos. One of the most important aspects of getting views on your YouTube videos are the title and thumbnail. If you have a bad title and thumbnail, it doesn't matter how great your video is, you will never get views. And and for these motivational videos specifically, I think I found a proven formula that will get you significantly more views on your videos. Now, if I were to show you this, these are the recent videos from a popular motivational channel. And you can see that the views that these videos are getting are mediocre at best. But then if I show you this, more recent videos from another popular motivational channel, you'll see that these videos are getting significantly more views. But why? Well, if we place these two channels side by side, I want you to try and see if you notice anything. If you notice a difference between the two channels, why is it that the channel on the right is getting so many more views than the channel on the left? Well, the channel on the left, this one here, is making a lot of detrimental mistakes. First of all, the thumbnails are just bad. They're using way too many words in the thumbnails. All the pictures they're using are way too generic and lack emotion, and something just simply is not connecting with the audience. On the other hand, if we look at this other channel here, the one that that's actually getting pretty good views, there's a different story being told. All the thumbnails use very little words. All of the pictures that they're using for the thumbnails are full of emotion and action and show the faces of people up close. And in general, something is definitely connecting with the audience. But the real question becomes, how exactly do you achieve this? Well, it really comes down to understanding why people choose to click onto your videos in the first place. And people choose to click onto your videos because they've been emotionally triggered by the title and thumbnail. And that right there is the secret. If you want to get more views on your motivational videos, then you have to learn how to trigger people's emotions using the title and thumbnail. And there's actually a few practical steps that you can take to achieve this. The first step is to choose an image with high intensity or high emotion. For example, the image that's being used on this thumbnail here does not have high intensity or high emotion. In fact, it's literally the exact opposite of high intensity. I mean, it's, it's somebody sleeping in bed. And it makes sense that after one month, the video only has 1.5 5k views. Nobody is clicking on this. On the other hand, the image being used in this thumbnail has very high emotion. It's an image of somebody crying and contemplating, and it makes sense that after just three days, it already has 84,000 views. Or this image here, it's very high intensity. So it makes sense that after just three weeks, the video already has 253,000 views. The second step is very simple. Zoom in on the face. Most of this channel's thumbnails, you can hardly see the faces. In fact, for a lot of the thumbnails, the person's back is literally turned to the camera. Or even worse, some of the thumbnails are just a dark silhouette of a person. That's a big mistake. Instead, you wanna zoom in really close on the faces like this channel here. Every single thumbnail is a close up of somebody's face. And there's actually a psychological reason why this works so well. And finally, the last step is to create contrast in the thumbnails. For example, when you look at this channel here, all the images are very high contrast. The backgrounds are typically pretty dark and the person's face in the foreground is much brighter and typically very contrasty. And this high contrast look gives the image a significantly more dramatic feel to it, which will help the thumbnail to stand out and get more clicks. And I'll show you exactly how to achieve this look in a second. But first, here's this other channel where most of the thumbnails don't have any contrast at all. This girl laying in bed is wearing a white shirt on top of white sheets against a white wall with a white lamp that's taken up a majority of the right side of the thumbnail. There's virtually zero contrast in this image. Or how about this image here, right? She's sitting down, looking up at the mountains. The mountains are kind of brown and earthy feeling and the sweater that she's wearing kind of matches the tone of the trees in the mountain, right? It's this kind of like earthy green color. And so she basically blends right into the image. There is zero contrast here. Okay, so enough of that. Let me actually show you how to make a good thumbnail that people will actually want to click on. Now I'll preface by saying I typically use Photoshop to create all my thumbnails, but if you don't have Photoshop, you can easily use a service like Canva to do the exact same thing and it's 100% free. And so for this example, I'm going to use Canva. And so after you've created your free Canva account, you'll simply click up here on templates and then click on social media and then find the template that says YouTube thumbnails. And by the way, all of this can be done on your phone by using the Canva app. And so anyways, what I'll do here is click on create a blank YouTube thumbnail. And then I'm going to go to this free website called unsplash.com. And I basically 
basically just want to find an image of a person with high emotion, right? And so what I'll do is I'm just going to go to search and I'm going to type in frustration. And the first image here that captures my attention and it likely captured your attention as well is this one right here. And so I'll download this image and then go back to Canva, click on uploads and then drop the image into my uploads. Then I'm simply going to drag the image onto the canvas and just make it cover the entire canvas. And actually, I'm gonna zoom into the face as closely as possible, something like that. Now, conveniently enough, this image by default is pretty contrasty, right? But we're gonna make it even more contrasty. And so what I'll do is I'll click up here on edit image and then just increase the contrast of the image a lot. And Canva actually has this new feature here called auto enhance. And I actually think it does a really good job of making the image look a lot better. And so if I click on that and then click on use and just let it work for a second, um, I'm just going to boost the intensity to 100. And if I click the before and after, you'll see that it does a really good job of making the colors just look more balanced and natural. And I think it looks a lot better. And so I'm going to hit apply. And then finally, I'm just going to drop some big text on the side here. And maybe this motivational video is about not giving up on your dreams, right? And so I'll add text that says never quit. And I'm just going to adjust the text to make it stand out as much as possible. And then I'm actually going to go over here to the search and I'm going to type in gradient and apply a gradient to this image. Okay. So make the gradient black so that now the text will be much, much easier to read. Okay. And so I'll just adjust the background image and move the head over just a tad. And so there we go. Perfect. And so now we've got this amazing looking thumbnail full of energy, full of emotion that people will be much more likely to click on compared to something like this. Guys, get out there and make some money. If you have not already dropped a like down below for the YT algo or subscribe to the channel, I really don't know what you're waiting for. It would mean the world to me if you did both those things. You guys are all amazing. Every single one of you watching, I appreciate you so much and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day or night. And as always, I will see you again very soon. Take care.